about doing commissions um, because today I have a commission for an 8 inch and a 12 inch with slightly different colors. So I wanted to talk about how I go about doing that. So first, um, I do <clears throat> take my sides in my back. I do leave about this much around. So after I paint it and after I resin it, I remove the tape and it's exposed the natural wood. I like the look of the natural wood personally. You could um, stain it or paint it or just tape the back. I find it harder with a circle to just kind of tape around the back, but there's lots of different ways you could do it. I just find this like really easy and pretty and simple. So let's talk about what we're going to do. This is my little eight incher. Um, when I'm doing a commission, I always send people a little, um, not a contract, but something I've made up that lets them know what to expect when they buy something from me. So first of all, I have them send pictures of things that I have made that they like with the exact colors and shapes that they're looking for. So I know I have those colors and what exactly to use. I also let them know that it's not ever gonna look exactly the same, but can be similar. I then mix up my colors and send it to them before I pour for their approval. Then I send them the final piece and I let them know that I would only send them something that I really love and there's no do-overs, really, especially for big ones. For smaller ones, maybe, but when I do three-footers or four-footers, um, there's no do-overs. I haven't really had a problem with that, to be honest, but, you know, it's always good to be aware of that. By the way, my pillow's Glidden Essentials eggshell. This is TLP Harvest Gold. She wanted on the small one gold, more golds and blues, and on the bigger one, more darker blues and a bit of lighter colors. We'll see. So, I got a little bloop in there. Um, also, in terms of money, I have people um, pay in full beforehand. If there's like a huge commission for a lot of stuff, then they can put down half, uh, but I prefer fully paid. I also use UPS for shipping. This color is turquoise green. And I calculate their shipping beforehand and add that to the bill. I use PayPal, especially because I'm in Canada, it's just easier. Um, and I attach it to my invoice, and then I know everyone is fully paid and ready to go. I also let them know that um, it can take a long time because after I pour, I wait for a few weeks, then I resin and I wait for a few weeks, so they're looking at about a month. This is TLP Macaw, which is a really pretty uh, duo interference. So it goes from a blue to a gold, but sometimes in some lights you get like a really cool green. All right, next we will do, how about, what do I want to do? I will do some Amsterdam Sky Blue. So those are just some tips that I have for doing commissions. Um, I don't really have, I haven't had major problems, really. I actually have more problems with people that I know than people that I don't. Uh, but still, it's uh, never really been a big issue. Here is TLP Mermaid. Because once they know what to expect from you, and then there's no kind of wiggle room for any problems to happen, you know? Okay, what else? Okay, I think we're good for this one. This is going to be the lighter one. You know what? For funsies, why don't I add a little TLP Lagoon for that extra sparkle and color? I'll put it around the edges. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm sure, you know, lots of people have other tips and things like that, but that's just the basic um, thing that happens. Getting those boobles. Get those boobles. You can take a skewer and pop them. I run out of skewers, so. Okay, this is Amsterdam, not Amsterdam, 
This is, oh, my phone's dying. Golden phthalo turquoise. Gonna on top, on top. This is gonna be really light and sparkly. Okay, <clears throat> my cell activator is Shelly Art Recipe, Amsterdam, and Australian Floetrol. I don't measure, about three to one. Are we looking good? Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, let's blow her out and hope for the best. Mm, yeah, I'll just pour it. Okay, we don't have a lot of color of the gold coming through. I think one of them was kind of thick, but let's see when we spin it out. There's like a touch of it, but it's pretty blue. I'm not sure. There's definitely sparkle, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but let's just see what happens when I spin her out, all right? You'll find that sometimes if there's certain paints, like for instance, I'm in my cold, um studio so you always have to be aware of your consistencies and what's going on because oh yeah the gold's coming through definitely sparkly um i'm just gonna turn around because we're not even here so if you wanted to thin something out you would just add a little bit more josonia or varnish this is pretty Turn her around again. <clears throat> okay. No matter what, I mean, people are going to love mostly what you do for them because it's personal and you've made it to their taste. This is really pretty. And it's really hard because I still get nervous that moment when I send it to somebody because you're like, oh no, what if they don't like it? Because you want to be strict, like you don't want to be taken advantage of, but also people are paying you money and you want them to love what you give them. I quite like this. Let's see if I need to spin any more. I'm going to spin a bit more. I love these eight inch rounds. They're really good size for co full coverage and really cute. Okay, let's go to the light. I will show you what she looks like and then we will do the 12 incher. Okay. Well, let's get the 12 incher going. Oh. Same thing. I don't want to put too much paint because I don't want to have to spin it out too much. Um, now you have decisions to make now with a 12 incher. Do you want a hair dryer? Do you want a mouth blow? Um, usually even with a 12 incher, I do mouth blow but your consistencies have to be good because you don't want to overblow. <sighs> Should I mouth blow? Ooh, because I don't want to blow up too much paint. You know what, whatever. Let's just do, start doing the paints, then we'll see. Okay, so remember this is the more dark, dark one. So I'm gonna start with TLP Latte. So it's not as a bright gold as the ore more of a sandy color, but it gives a nice kind of dimension to it. Now, I'm gonna load this puppy with Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Could be too thick. She's pretty thick. Okay, we're loading it. Now, 
Why don't I do a bit more of macaw because that's fun. Yeah, this paint's really thick. Um, on top of the macaw, uh, I'll do some TLP Lagoon as well. Get that in the middle. I think I am gonna hair dryer it just cause I'm making a real, I wanna make sure I get full coverage. So I've made a big puddle and I'll do, I would just be blowing for hours on this and probably pass out that everybody would be concerned. I have an air bubble, but I don't have any more skewers. There we go. Um, come on, Buble, work with me here. It doesn't really matter cause they're gonna blow out, but okay. Yes, now I am going to go the Amsterdam Sky Blue. All right. And do I want any more sparkle or are we, we're kind of pretty good on the sparkle. Why not a little bit? You know, I can never say no to sparkle, a little bit more mermaid for funsies. And I will top it off again with the phthalo turquoise. It's a lot of paint on here, not to worry. Okay, let's make sure my hair dryer is sorted. Yep, there she is. Okay, relax. <laughs> There's so much paint on her. Okay, so let's get the cell activator going and blow her out and hope for the best, right? Okay. Loopity doop, right? Here we go. Okay. Now let's get those pieces that need to get blown out. You could definitely take a straw at this point if you wanted to. I just don't work well with straws. So this lady wanted really big cells, which you're gonna get with these big chunks of cell activator because as it stinks, it will make very big cells. really pretty colors. I don't think you can go wrong with blues. You know what I mean? Like blues always win for me, even though I'm a pink girl, as you know, but still. All right, we're gonna wait a few more seconds till we get a little more sinkage. Look at these huge cells happening there. She'll like that. We've got a bit of the dark element in certain places. These edges are gonna spin off. Let me just fix that one that I don't think will spin off. Um, although it's not bad, but you know, could make it a little more interesting if we want to. Um, like things like this are kind of boring. What else is kind of boring? This, I don't like sharp edges. Okay. All right, I think we are good. Should I just leave this? Yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay, let's spin, shall we? Ooh, <laughs> the sparkle. I just can't get enough of these freaking sparkles. Oh my God. I, I know you think by this point I'd be like bored of them, but really 
like holy Toledo. All right, I think, let's see, I'm gonna tilt it a bit. How much more do we have to spin? I'll give it one more good spin. see. Yes. Magical. Did I do say so myself? There's a bit. I'm going to do one more. I would hate for this <clears throat> to sink. Okay. This is a magical underwater explosion and I love her. <clears throat> I hope you guys love her too. I'll bring you over to the light. Let me know what you think. I hope this like helped with some ideas for when you guys do your commissions. Let me know. Have a good day. Bye.